My name is Andy. I live in Tel Aviv, Israel. I absolutely love this place. On this small Ayrkon River. This video is all about birds, birds photography. I would like to share my hobby, my passion, and probably show you some tips that I've learned through the years that hopefully will, will help you make some nice pictures of birds wherever you are. Stay on. Okay, so first thing first, you need to find a location. Where are you going to make your pictures? For this, you have to scan the area. The best thing is by boat. And I took my son Ben with me because, you know, I'm embarrassed to, to be doing it alone. Grown-up men in the middle of the week driving the pedal boat. But anyway, that's the our river. I wanted to use the drone to show you, but it's eventually a no-fly zone. So we'll have to do it with these pictures. So what are we looking while we're scanning for nice place? Scenery or nice view? No. We are looking for the birds. We are looking for the birds because they are coming back to the places you've seen them at least once. Because kingfishers are hunters or fishers or whatever. So once you've seen them somewhere here, it's a great opp opportunity for them to come back to this place. And it always worked. So what we're doing, having fun in a nice winter day, riding a boat, looking for some spots. Now we're coming close and you, you will surely see. That's two kingfishers, which call the regular kingfisher, but I like to call them the zebra kingfisher, just because they are black and white all the, with all the funny stripes. There you go, you see? Just wanted to show you this place where I've, I've done most of my pictures. You see from the outside, it looks ugly. It has even rats down there, funny and the sewage and everything and it looks ugly but on the picture you it doesn't matter because you have the full focus on the bird very little around and what's also nice about this place is the sun it always shines in my back here so i have the perfect lightning take a look how they are using the fallen branches both of them sitting waiting for the nice fish but that's not a good spot for us <laughs> you see how the focus changes again speaking about the scenery you see the best spot are near the sewage because there's a lot of fish the small fish and the birds love it and you won't see it on the picture anyway I mean at least on the ones I'm doing because you are just focusing on the bird the macro of the bird so it doesn't matter if it's a nice view or if it's an awful view most important thing is the light and the bird itself and not to get in a way of the sportsman wow you see this nice one That's what I'm talking about. A nice big kingfisher sits on a natural bowl just waiting to be pictured. But it's absolutely useless to make pictures like that. In this kind of photography, you have to anticipate where he will sit and wait for him there. There's no point trying to make any pictures like this. But it's anyway nice. So you see, found a nice spot. I'm not sure I'm going to be here. But it's just so tempting. 
nice one big one it's called white throated there you go <laughs> a few hours later and i just couldn't wait any longer to see that spot that we've checked from the river so i took my bike and here i am running for the light because there's another half an hour and the lights will be off will be gone i thought to start my video by saying that you need patience and you need stuff like that to make a nice picture to hell with it you need to be a hunter you need to <laughs> want this bloody shot taken so here I am riding like crazy with a tripod between my legs just wanting to make it in time before the sunset see you okay that's the place barely made it in the daylight but feels all right time for the secret weapon of the bread here we go let's see if we can find some fish create a nice buzz around it I can definitely hear a lot of birds in the background though not the kingfishers I, I know their sound quite well but anyway hope to be lucky I'm here that's another half an hour of waiting, not more, because it's going to be dark. Let's hope. Another thing I wanted to tell you, that at the start of my hobby, I used to disable the, the beep from the autofocus and all the rest of the sounds, like switch off your telephone and stuff like that. But with the years of uh, sitting and waiting for the birds, I realized that they don't really care or they trust you or they don't it may sound strange or whatever but there is somehow a connection between us all I'm not saying the dark side or whatever Jedi power but but there is something and once you're not watching on the pole on the stick once you are thinking about your thoughts and like not anticipating it that much it suddenly happens okay it's another day on Ayrcon river the bread is deployed the fish is not there yet I'm here with the camera and if you ask me what's the most common photograph I have on my camera when when doing the, the, the shots of the birds it's gonna be this one the shots of the stick <laughs> that's the most common thing Whoa. I'm doing it just to check the focus and it, that I have the settings right wait waiting for the moment <laughs> still sitting still no birds I mean no kingfishers but today is Friday I know they don't care but on Friday I have this magic pastry sambusak specially produced from a mother of a Taimanese Jew who is working nearby and each Friday no matter what I buy it so I am determined to sit here and just have a great time mm. wonderful I wish I could give you some it's been almost three months since I started my project no result if you may call it a result a picture but to make things worse the park authority came up with this 
wonderful bird exhibition. Oh, I'll show you. Now, how would you feel if you are trying to make a nice picture of Kingfisher for three months and they suddenly put this just on your way? Well, I was frustrated at first, but then I thought this is it, this is the end of my project. And it's not a failure, no. It's an inspiration for you to come up and make your own pictures. Bye, thanks for watching. And I'm sorry for any mistakes, I, I know there were a few.